Hey guys, welcome to Tate's Kitchen. In this video, I am going to show you how to make Maharashtra's famous street food Vada Pav along with dry garlic chutney and green chutney. To prepare Vada Pav, you would need Pav, Vada, Green Chutney and Dry Garlic Chutney. Ingredients required to prepare Vada are Boiled Potatoes, Garlic Cloves, Ginger, Green Chilies, Mustard Seeds, Jeera Seeds, Hing, curry leaves, coriander leaves, salt, oil for deep frying. For preparing batter, you would need gram flour, baking soda, red chilli powder, turmeric powder, salt and water. Ingredients required for dry garlic chutney are oil, garlic cloves, peanut, sesame seeds, jeera seeds, coriander seeds, methi seeds, desiccated coconut, Kashmiri red chilli powder, turmeric powder, hing and salt. Ingredients required for green chutney are coriander leaves, mint leaves, green chilies, garlic cloves, ginger and salt. First let's prepare dry garlic chutney. Take a pan, add 2 tablespoon oil, add 1 third cup of garlic cloves, saute for a minute. Now add 2 tablespoon peanut and saute for a minute. Now add 1 tablespoon sesame seeds, half tablespoon jeera seeds, 3 4 tablespoon coriander seeds, add very small amount of methi seeds and saute all these ingredients for around 1 minute. Now add 1 third cup of desiccated coconut and saute for around 30 seconds. Now turn off the flame and allow it to cool. Transfer all these ingredients to mixer jar. Add 1 tablespoon Kashmiri red chilli powder. Add 1 fourth tablespoon turmeric powder. Add salt to taste. Add a pinch of hing. Coarse grind it, do not add water into it. Dry garlic chutney is now ready. Now let's prepare green color chutney. Take a mixer jar, add coriander leaves, add mint leaves, add 2 green chilies, add 10 to 12 garlic cloves, add 2 inch ginger, Add salt to taste, add little water and make a fine paste. Add 1 tablespoon lime juice and give it a mix. Green chutney is now ready. Now let's prepare stuffing for vada. Take 8 to 10 garlic cloves. Take 1 inch ginger, take 4 green chilies, crush all these ingredients well. Now take 4 boiled potatoes and mash it well. Now take a pan, add 4 tablespoon oil, add 1 4 tablespoon mustard seeds. Add half tablespoon jeera seeds, add a pinch of hing, saute for around 30 seconds. Now add finely chopped curry leaves. Now add crushed ginger garlic and chilli paste, saute for around 30 seconds. Now add all the mashed potatoes and give it a good mix. Add salt to taste. Give it a good mix. At the end, add finely chopped coriander leaves and mix it well.
Now turn off the flame and transfer it into a bowl and keep it aside, let it cool. Potato stuffing for vada is now ready. Until it cools, let's prepare chili which is served with vada pav. To the same pan, add 2 tablespoon oil. Here I've taken few green chilies, have cut it through the center. Add salt to it. Add few drops of lime juice and fry it for one minute. Chilies which are usually served with vada pav is ready. Now let's start preparing vada. Take a mixing bowl, add 1 cup gram flour or basin, add a pinch of baking soda and this is optional, add 1 tablespoon red chilli powder, add half tablespoon turmeric powder, mix all these ingredients well. Now add water little by little and form a thick batter. Remember do not add water at one shot, add water little by little. Now add salt to taste and give it a mix. So the consistency should be like this. Now the stuffing has cooled, let's make small balls out of it. Once the oil is hot, coat the potato stuffing with batter and deep fry. Remember to deep fry on medium flame. Now flip all the vadas and cook the other side as well. Once it turns golden brown, take it on a kitchen towel to remove excess oil. Similarly make all vadas in batches. Now let's move on to the final step. Take pav which is readily available in the market. Make it into two halves. Apply green chutney on it. Add dry garlic chutney. Place the vada in between and the vada pav is ready. Try this delicious vada pav recipe at home and do comment in the comment section below. If you like the recipe, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notifications of my new recipes. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.